think I'm here in person, but this is actually a very sophisticated hologram. <laughs> Mr. Minister, uh, friends here in Japan and friends from around the world, on behalf of, of my government and the people of the United States, thank you for inviting me to this important symposium. In my role as director of the Office of Science in our Department of Energy, I oversee a large science and technology program dedicated to exploring the nature of our universe and the matter within it, and to developing the next generation of technologies to enhance global prosperity. At the Department of Energy, we manage national laboratories, we fund scientific discovery, and we seek to formulate a science policy that guides us and enables us to find solutions to the challenges of today and tomorrow. In order to accomplish these missions, we leverage cooperation amongst a wide diversity of scientists in our country across government, academia, and the private sector. And we also look to foster a rich network of multinational collaboration. We therefore celebrate the government of Japan's establishment of this moonshot research and development program last year. It's an ambitious goal befitting a great nation. We are excited to look for ways to partner with you in this effort. 57 years ago, our president, John Kennedy, announced our national effort to land man on the moon. At that time, President Kennedy said, we choose to go to the moon in this decade and to do other things, not because they're easy, but because they're hard, because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills, because that challenge is one we're willing to accept and one we're unwilling to postpone. That original moonshot was about organize and channeling the best of our energies and skills. Together, internationally, we've unlocked many of nature's secrets and made amazing advances in technology. We don't just measure the building blocks of matter, we, we measure the building blocks of the building blocks of matter. We've transcribed the human genome and other genomes and we're learning to engineer organisms for the benefit of humanity. We've built an outpost orbiting the Earth and have lived and worked in it continuously for almost 20 years. These achievements in basic science and technology have required massive resources and international cooperation. So it's particularly significant, not just that Japan has launched this moonshot program, but also with this symposium and the activities that will follow, is inviting researchers from around the world to participate. Many of the hardest problems still facing humanity can benefit in part from scientific discovery and technological solutions. And solving these problems will require the best energies and skills, not of a single nation, but of the best minds from around the world working together. Moonshot research in biology promises to transform human health for sure, but biology holds many exquisite secrets still to be revealed for advanced and sustainable energy. And for meeting the world's, uh, the world's growing needs for food and water. Through moonshot research in AI and data analytics, we will uncover answers to questions we have struggled with and even become aware of questions we did not know to ask. Japan is a world leader in the combination of AI and robotics, and this combination will surely lead to a future where humans in all walks of life will benefit from the assistance of machines that will make their lives better. And through moonshot research in quantum information science, we will solve computational problems that are simply impossible today, drive new physics, and improve the human condition with new sensors of unprecedented sensitivity and capability, and also communicate in fundamentally new ways. The United States and Japan have a strong track record of cooperation in scientific research and technological pursuits. And I'm confident that our, re our researchers can work together on moonshot problems along with our friends in Europe. One of the reasons that we're able to work together so well is that we share a commitment to the values of open and collaborative basic science for our countries and for all mankind. 
and because we believe that the economic benefits of our efforts should be shared equitably based on transparent principles. A moonshot approach recognizes that breakthroughs can and will come from different areas. So in the United States, we have placed a renewed emphasis on the importance of public-private partnerships in research and development, as we believe that approach can be more beneficial than each group working separately. And scientific and technological discoveries alone are not enough to solve the problems we face. So in our country, we've placed a renewed emphasis on how we transfer new knowledge and new technology to the private sector for widespread deployment. We look forward to discussing these opportunities for innovation as part of international collaboration in moonshot research. And finally, AI, quantum sciences, engineering biology, and other technologies worthy of international moonshot collaboration should be opportunities to improve life and prosperity and security. Future breakthroughs in many areas of science, such as those we're discussing, require us to anticipate their impact on society and to allow their benefits to be realized while also protecting values like freedom that we hold dear. So it is particularly laudable that Japan has thought so deeply about the societal implications in the future vision strategy for the Moonshot program. I'm looking forward to a fruitful discussion and I am excited about the opportunity to learn uh, from each other here at this symposium. Thank you for inviting my country to participate in the symposium and congratulations again to Japan for this bold initiative. Thank you.